Now, Maroya gathers his nerve. Maroya, you're cleared into the track. Spoke on. Given the all-clear by race director, Jim DiMatteo, the entry speed needs to be as close to 370 kilometers per hour or 230 mph as Maroya dare. Looks good. He's got good timing there, and he was level nicely before gate three. All looked a little high there in gate four. That started, I think, with a little bit of a climb after gate three. Has to be very careful there. Here comes the first vertical turning maneuver, squeezing it around there. The G looks good. The ghost plane of Matt Hall looks as though he's trailing a little bit. It's uh, really, really tight. Two green lights from two split times from Maroya. He's ahead of Matt Hall. Can he keep the energy? Can he find the rhythm as he heads into the chicane for the last time? He's clearly ahead of the Australian. Fantastic flying from Yoshi, very neat, although some of the gates are right on the limit. Great pull-up point for this last VTM. Maroya looking to take the lead from Matt Hall, looking to put the pressure on Shoka, and Japan are back into the race for the World Championship. 50.451 seconds, no penalties. That currently holds you in first place. Ah, the news.